<laughs> yes, Flail, it was deemed me verbalizing a sigh to express my emotional state. Do you want to know why? Because I saw what they reconstructed environmental data for the theorists at Logist and Alpha, that's why. A forest so lovely, so... so leafy. Are all your forests like that? Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're not fucking crystals, dude. You see the Force of the First one was purple. I do love the Force of the First being purple. <gasps> I say, what a, what a star so wonderful. It comes as no surprise that you're reluctant to leave it behind. I was a fool to think it otherwise, to assume that the moon was something worth being proud of. Oh, oh, growing way, no. Pat, pat the camera. Oh. Little baby bunny! How ridiculous we must seem to you, trying so hard yet achieving so little. Baby, that's what I pick him up and hug him! Not at all. Thy works are no less worthy of their uniqueness. Thought I heard tiny voices. Oh, Thancred! Speaking of other dad, Thancred. How dost thou fare? I was able to glean a fair bit from the researchers by helping to move their cargo. Preparations have proceeded without interruption here, despite news of the coming end. We have the forum's leadership to thank for that. That doesn't mean people aren't worried, though. Quite the opposite. Knowing disaster could strike at any moment, they hurried to completion of their work, equally aware that a single error could be the difference between life and death. We can hardly tell them there's no cause for concern. Perhaps not, though aided by our goodly growing way, we may find other ways to lighten the burden. Me? Be of use to... to people? I'm honored that you would think me so capable. Oh, this is... This is growing way. This is... I'll get, I'm giving growing way cooking ways voice. Me? But to be of use to people? I'm honored that you would think you'd be so capable. But I'm not sure I'm up to the challenge. Nevertheless, I believe in thee. Believe in the me that believes in you, growing way. If you say so, I... I suppose it can't hurt to try. I passed someone moping in the western plaza and looked to be in need of a helping Paul. How's he my stop with him? Grubby little paws. This is as good a place as any. Come. Longfall, how you doing? I saw the moon faintly during a certain weather pattern. I have questions. No moons. Moon's fake. You must go with them. I don't think Ariadne misjudged him, but Grownway does look like it used emotional support. Still have work to complete elsewhere. Trust that you won't, I won't return to find any Lopperits in tears. Nah, they're fine. They're fine. Oh, uh, can I help you? It is you who would help me. Mine's already truly so obvious. Yes. <laughs> you look like the, uh, the crestfallen warrior from Dark Souls. The burden shed is a burden eased. Pray, tell us of thy troubles. Those little fellas do look like good listeners. I'm an engineer, you see. What they say of the ship, as the sum of the decades of Charlene ingenuity, as built with peerless elegant technology, is all true, but... I know. I know that none of that's a guarantee. We never before launched a star-faring vessel, let alone flown it into the Great Expanse. All the tests we've run have been on the ground. Only operational personnel and cargo will be aboard the first voyage, but even so, if it fails us then, what can we do? If it doesn't, it could fall apart in the next flight, or the one after that. We've done everything we can to prevent them from happening, but it hardly matters. We thought the Aether Burner's design was flawless too, Look how that turned out. Thou art familiar with these most daunting technologies, and thus dost thou hold the power to allay his fears. Oh, I er, I'm not sure about that, but well, maybe you could tell me if there's any aspects of the ship's design that you're especially worried about. I really to walk and perform a task for one. I devised a means by which to employ gravity, a spatial temporal spell, to regulate the environment. What if it's not strong enough? What if everyone floats away and begins crashing to things as soon as we left the star? 
Ah, gravitation. Maybe I can be of help after all. Up there is not so different from down here, you see. The same rules apply, and if you consider them as part of one big cosmos rather than separate places. Aw, this is cute. This is cute. I suspect both parties should find comfort in this conversation. But if that grand tale is to be true, so others would benefit from the insides born of experience. Why don't you get to prevail upon the Loperates to attend them? An excellent idea, if I do say so myself. There's not we like more than to ease the hearts of the fine people of the theorists and learn more about them while we're at it. I love the little, like, cheek thing they do. I need that as an emote. Full glad am I to hear it. Gather thy companions and bring them hither. Peleo, that has a gift for finding souls in need of succor. Man, if... That just sounds wrong. Pray, seek thee out the distressed and apprehensive, and inform them that help is at hand. I shall wait them here, and I might introduce each to a suitable loperate. <laughs> Everyone gets their own personal loperate. <laughs> Cheek rubs, please? Exactly! Oh, I do look forward to that. A place for every loperate, and every loperate in their place. Were well, you going to have been here for Elpis and my bad jokes to tell? Hey, you know what that means, Batty? That means you have so many more bad jokes you can keep telling, because we ain't stopping anytime soon. I need to find some poor, unfortunate souls in pain, in need. You ever played any games in the Dragon Age series? I played Dragon Age Origins. I played some of two, but didn't beat it. And I played uh, some of Inquisition, but didn't beat it. Origins, I've played like eight times. It's one of my favorite games growing up. 56 bunches of weeds in the ground. 56 bunches of weed. Rip one out, add it to the mound. 55 bunches of weeds in the... Oh, yeah. I'm not neglecting my duties, I swear. <laughs> I was in need of a little break, you see. But I found myself unable to relax at all. So I went for a walk and I noticed these weeds and... Pleasant conversation partners and... Oh, oh so fuzzy. Goodness me, that does sound like a much better way to relax. I... <laughs> you know, chat, I was expecting to, like, find someone to help and be like, Oh, I'll help you with your research and we'll assign a law for it. This person's just like, <gasps> Fluffy bunnies. <laughs> my pickles, my chest is tight, and my tying is so tiny, just like... Hey, bro, I feel you. Panic attacks are not fun. Oh, <laughs> do pardon me. I didn't see you there. There's no cause for concern, I assure you. No cause for concern. Even though we may need to depart at any moment, and if the holy design buckles under the strain of the entire vessel may explode on launch, coming countless lives and doing all mankind. <laughs> That's highly unlikely. Yes, yes, highly unlikely. Highly. Our physicists can help triple check for structural flaws, you say? Why? Would be wonderful. Oh, I'm breathing more easily already. Yeah, panic attacks are not, not not fun. Not the best thing. Oh, it's best you forever. Yeah, finding eight people is bad enough, especially with my inability to find things. Chat knows that I uh, have a lot of trouble just locating NPCs and will run around and just just be lost for a long time. You know, I figured this guy standing here out of the way would be one of them, but I mean, you know, just egg on my face. I'm what I hope you. What a lovely idea. I too noticed people becoming rather tense, so I rushed out to pluck some fresh and fragrant tea leaves. Now they only tracked down about a hundred or so cups. But don't worry, I can manage. Hope you plan to cheer everyone up goes well. The woman's been better than you are. No! <laughs> How dare you be well adjusted? I need to have my quest. Quest is infamous, the annoying thing, the NPCs and you don't show up all at once. Wait, you gotta go down the places you've already been before? No fucking way. That's evil. That's so evil. That's so mean, Final Fantasy. Fuck the final days, this is the worst thing to happen to the star. <gasps> you! Look at you hiding in the bushes over there! Look at this thing! How dare you! Oh. 
Uh, no, j don't jail them yet, Fawny. I prefer it not to, I prefer it right chat not to be jailed. Trust you? Okay. You're my mod and I trust you. Just spam emotes. Phew. Oh, finally some rest. I missed you. Why, I haven't spoken so much in, well, in forever. Man, I love Living Way's voice actress. God damn, Living Way's so cute. Lively, isn't it? The town is a buzz. Everyone eager to meet with our friends from the moon. would behoove you to consult with Sleeping Way. As our moon's pilot, his advice should be most pertinent. Sleeping Way's the pilot? Yo, bro got narcolepsy We're letting him fly the moon? I'm impressed. Truth be told, I struggle to tell one from another. No offense intended, of course. Casual racism, Vancred. What do you mean? We got Papa Uriage, father of the Loperitz. Look, every page filled to the margins with knowledge. I love how after 10 minutes with Uriage, they already learned more than they did from the Charlene scholars. When I first arrived, I was struck by how little I knew. It was daunting. But then I realized that were it not for Uriange and his teachings, we'd still be stuck on the moon, gazing at your world and wondering what we've been missing. <laughs> oh. What would they think if they could see Uri Ange now? I dare say they'd be more than a bit surprised and impressed, no doubt. Right. Master Louis Soir, Minfilia, Papa Limo, and not to forget. Oh, yeah, we haven't even met Moonbreed's parents. That was like a whole plot point. Stray! Thank you for the resub! Three months! Oh, there. Heard there was a visiting expert who we might bother with a few questions. I take it you'd be the one. Yeah, yes, I am. Wait, did I literally call out the Moonbreeders' parents plot point? Wait, did I literally call it out? Like, there's no way those are Moonbreeders' parents. Calo, thank you for chatting. Hi, I, oh God, I'm so used to not having emo mode. I hope you're doing well today. I'll talk to you after. I can't believe I just sniped that. Wilson and Blavida, Charlian's foremost researchers in the field of teleportation magic, and Moonbreeder's parents. Call me sniping way. It, it, it has been some time. Tis. It is good to see you in uh, good health. Likewise, old friend. Lavida and I were most honored to answer the call. Never expected this reunion, though, did we, dear? Alfe, the nerve. Sending that letter, then running off to the gods know where. Oh. And then she's gonna hug him? Oh, no, there's no hugging in the game. <gasps> Do you have any idea how worried we were? I want to cry, Shay! I'm, I'm sorry. It was remiss of me not to deliver the news in person. No, more than that. It was I who. Our daughter was disillusioned after Master Louisois left her behind. 
The day the Scions called upon her was the happiest I'd seen her in years. <laughs> Stop! It's the happiest that she was in years! No! How dare you! How dare she you do this to me? choice of her own free will. No one could have ever forced her to do otherwise. Don't blame yourself for her death. Celebrate her life. You know that's what she'd want. If there is one thing we resent you for, it was that we could not be there to mourn her with you. Reading the words you penned in that shaky hand, we must have cried as much for you as we did for her. <laughs> Stop it! I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. <laughs> I knew not what to say. Knew not how to express my feelings. The poems and platitudes of wiser men, musings <laughs> on sadness and loss, studied and memorized, and meaningless in the moment. <laughs> You're shaking. Silly boy. We are all powerless before such grief. Even now, try as I might, the words escape me. But in our hearts, we know, we always know. Oh, a Ghibli tear with the drop down. I remember when you were young, how the lads teased you for choosing the company of books over others. Oh, yo, chat, that was a, that was, that was a lot. I was going to take a pause here for half a second after that emotional torture I just went through. Oh, oh, I was not ready. I was not ready for, for the crying jump scare to hit me. This is, that's, oh. Our moon didn't take kindly to that. Ah, don't call her Moe! Be nice to Orionje, she'd shout, and give them a walloping. No matter how many times we scolded her. So we offered a suggestion. Rather than starting fights, why don't you be the bridge between Orionje and the others? She had to mull it over for a while. Arms crossed, brow furrowed in intense thought. I mean, she was a warrior, it does make sense. But from that day on, she never let you be alone. She'd drag you outside to play, pepper you with endless questions, read the same books you read, all to try and understand you that much better. I'm sure it was annoying and exhausting at the time, but she only ever had the best of intentions. Chat. Orion J was in like my d tier when i first started playing this game almost f tier because he didn't exist in a realm reborn or really heaven's word and i feel like this is the first time we're really getting real character characterization from him yeah we've had parts and shadow bringers but like this expansion almost feels a little bit like orianche's story and god damn am i loving this and look at you now at the center of the crowd. The reason there even is a crowd, having brought these people together. Yeah, well, I helped. You've no idea how proud we are. Ah! To see the boy, our daughter trusted and believed in more than anyone, grow into the man she always knew he could be. I can see her in you too. Feel her. She walks with you wheresoever you go. So thank you, Orianger, for, for being, being who, who you are. You are. Oh. Oh. Thank you for being who you are. And that's... Oh. That's... That's powerful. That's... Making my heart hurt. <laughs> I... I think... 
I can feel her too. The truth of her life. Not sorrow, but hope and love. They took her away from us, chat. And now they're twisting the knife. <laughs> Living Wing's got YouTube face over here. This moon breeder, she was important to him, wasn't she? You could ask the man himself. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> This exchange reminds me how much I've yet to learn about your world and its people. You can live here your entire life and hardly learn a thing. And that's why it's too soon for this to end. What a scene. <laughs> what a scene, and then immediately... <laughs> oh my god. It, it, it's about as bad as a Lahi jump scare. What a scene, though, chat. Oh my god. Thanks for watching. That scene was unbelievably powerful. It tore me to shreds. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe it really helps out the channel. And if you're feeling extra generous, you want to help the channel grow, check out the Patreon link in the description. We have weekly community nights and shouts out at the end of the video. Speaking on, I'd like to thank Roxanne, Elden, Tanaka, Neo, Flash Fox, Kev was here, John, Rorolai, Svent, and Roslo Streaming Network. And as always, have a lovely day.